Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Scarlane here bringing you a new Neverwinter video and as the title suggests, we're going to be looking at the Blazing Soul Pack. So Module 29 has just launched on all platforms, uh, Mountain of Flame. So we have some items in the Zen store that we're going to go ahead and look at. So if you go down to the packs, we do have the Mountain of Flame Head Start Pack. This gives you two weeks into the campaign. You have some campaign currency, some wards in there, some slayers, uh, Stone of Health and Coalescent Moat. Uh, it's 1500, uh, 1500 Zen, a.k.a. $15, which is not bad for skipping two weeks of the campaign, plus all the bonuses in it. This video in particular is the Blazing Soul Pack, so you're going to see that they lowered the price on these. The Cosmic Diver Pack came with a bunch of fashion, a clicky item, a title, and five Mass Life Scrolls, and it was $30. Uh, you also got the Epic Bloodstone. They lowered it to 2,000 Zen, which is $20, and you have the new clicky item, a title, the Epic Enchantment, and then 10 green scrolls of mass life. Don't necessarily agree with this. It's still way overpriced. Uh, $20 for this is kind of funny. Uh, you can get your coupons, buy it at a discount always. Uh, and then these items are purchase purchasable on the auction house. So if we go ahead and look at the items here. The Blazing Aegis is going to be the new clicky item for Module 29. Module 29, Mountain of Flame, just launched on all platforms. Blazing Aegis is the new clicky item that gives you the 15% increased campaign currency. So this has an interesting effect. I don't think it's going to be that great, to be honest. Uh, I'm assuming it has a 60 second cooldown, so a one minute cooldown, um, at least let's hope so. I doubt I'll be buying this, so look for Aragon to put a video out testing this. Essentially, you're going to gain a 10% shield, and it lasts 10 seconds. And then you're going to get the added effect of damage reflect of 10%. So it says it has one charge on it, I'm assuming that you can use this indefinitely. One charge would be stupid if you just use this and it only used it once. I mean, that would just be ridiculous, I guess. Um, it says maximum hit points charges one. So, poorly worded tooltips. Uh, but yeah, damage reflect of 10% is interesting. I'm sure that there's going to be testing on this item, but if it is 10% and it has no cap on it, then this could theoretically be a decent item. So, for instance, say you're in a trowel and the boss is hitting you for, I don't know, let's just say over a million damage, right? If you're a tank and you are you pop this item... And you're getting hit for a million damage. You know, 10% of that is 100k. I don't know what the boss is actually hit for. I mean, if they hit for several million, then you're talking about, you know, 400,000 damage every minute. So, this could be decent, depending if there's an actual cap on the damage reflect. Uh, if it caps out at, like, 50k or something, then it's, then it's garbage. Uh... I'm assuming the charges is the damage reflect, right? So you're not going to be able to get hit multiple times. That makes more sense. The very first time you get hit, you'll lose the effect. It's only going to reflect 10% damage on one hit is what I'm guessing. Either way, it's an interesting new item. I'm sure it's broken. Cryptic can't code anything properly. Anyway, moving along, you get the Blazing Soul title. And then you get one of the best-in-slot new triple-statted enchantments. Uh, so you would have to buy these with campaign currency. If you want to spend $20 and grab one, then be my guest. And then for whatever reason, they put 10 green scrolls. So we're on Xbox. Uh, it's literally day one of me filming this. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the enchantment first since I was already looking at them. So 
So again, it's day one. Not many for sale. People have already upgraded these. Uh, it looks like on Xbox, an Epic's going for 700k. Legendary 1.1. And then basically 2 million for Mythics. Now keep in mind, we have the fiasco with Celestial Enchantments. Uh, so if you buy this for 2 million, you have to make an account bound. Then you have to upgrade it to Celestial. And then make the Celestial account bound. So you're still going to have to burn at least one Coalescent Ward per enchantment. So yes, these are best in slot. I just recently put out the video on the triple statted uh, enchantments. If you're a new player, this is something to strive for. If you're a veteran player and you already <laughs> leveled up your enchantments to Celestial, are you really going to go back and do it? It's no item level increase. Uh, you just gain more statistical value. So it's 2,700 critical strike on a single statted. Uh, on the triple statted, I think it's a total of like 3,240 statistics. You just gain more statistical value from the triple statted. Uh, so again, that will be completely up to you. If we go ahead and look at those... Clicky items in the title. I think there's a few for sale on Xbox already. So yeah, the title's 55k. And then that Blazing Aegis is about 500k. Prices will go down. Uh, so there it is, guys. Uh, that's the new Module 29 pack. The Blazing Soul pack. I can't tell you how to spend your money. I would avoid it. I'd use AD. AD is free. <clears throat> Zen is... You know, $20 worth of Zen is $20 worth of Zen. Whether you use the ADX or not, uh, obviously Xbox hasn't had a backlog now for a while, so we can get Zen whenever we want. But, for instance, PlayStation and PC that still have backlogs, I wouldn't be spending 2000 Zen on this. I would simply buy the items for AD. So that's all I got for you folks today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, go ahead and leave them below. And I'll see you guys real soon.